Oi, oi. What's up, dude? Up in Hello, the car. Sir. Let's How go for we? a ride. How you doing, man? So we met in 2002. Yeah. Long when, time ago now. Well, you were a, a wee lad still. Yeah, doing doing about a boy. Doing about That's a boy. It's a long, long time. Look how much we've changed. Look how much we've grown. Well, you've definitely grown a lot since then. <laughs> <laughs> we're going for a drive in the Jag I pace. We are indeed. We're going for a, a, a joyride, yeah, a cruise. Pace. All electric. All electric. The future is here. Have you seen the Attenborough documentary? Yeah. It's like, kind of, if, if we're not changing and switching things up now after watching that and seeing that and what, what all science is telling us, if we're not changing now, then it's like, it's, it's too late. If you could meet any creative talent in the world that you would really describe as being a fearless creative, who would that be? Alive or dead? Um, you know what? One of my favourites actors-wise is Jack Nicholson. And yeah. I think he definitely has that on screen. I'd love, I'd love to meet him. Yeah, that's top, top pick for me in this moment. It, go, it changes because I'll watch people and I'll be like, oh, this is really good. And, and then I'll see a director's work and I'll be like, oh, that was really good. Um, there was a director I spoke to yesterday called Shannon Murphy who did this film called Baby Teeth. Right. It's so good. It's her first film. It's amazing. So it's exciting when you get to like chat to people like that and kind of figure out where they're coming from and what, what they're what their ideas are and what stories they want to tell and and their their process um it's the thing i love most about my job without a doubt is 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 working with and feeding off creatives yeah. and collaboration with people that you know have just got that sparky really that that brain that is just going to produce so many cool things in the future, not just what they've done, but what they can continue to bring. Yeah, they've just got such a fun observational look at the world where they go, oh, that, this, and we'll try that. And then, and it's, 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 um, it's kind of a little bit addictive to be around those people. Yeah. Because yeah. you feed off it, like you say. Absolutely. And then, and then it makes you think more like that. And then you're like, oh, yeah, I want to try that. I want to do that. And then, and then if it works, you're like, it's like that moment of like, yes, we did something that was like original and different. Yeah. This idea of fearless creativity as we come out of COVID, what's going to change? For us in, in our jobs, there's always a little bit of fear that you have to overcome. Because also each job is different, so you're always learning, which is a great thing because it means that you're always questioning yourself and wondering if you can do what's required of that job, you know? You fail or succeed in front of everybody and everyone yeah. like judges it. So, so it's kind of quite a... Um, vulnerable position I think that's why so much of our game is set up on like trusting people that's why it's nice to do things with this like this with you I've known you for a long time and trust you so it's like you know it's a safe environment to be able to chat or drive and then the same when you're acting like you want directors or, or crew and writers and whoever's around that you can be and other actors that you're like okay we're in this we can fail that, I guess that's the thing not being scared of messing up mm. the great which I've really really enjoyed you watched it yeah you, oh, nice. you Thanks, but 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 that's in my opinion that was quite you put yourself out there though didn't you i mean you <laughs> do some pretty yeah outrageous you know, it's a, it's things he's a pretty bold character he is but he's i also love it for that yeah uh, and, I, and that's what i'm enjoying work wise at the moment particularly with with tony the writer of tony mcnamara the writer on the great who did the favorite as well he's he writes such brilliant characters that yeah. they can kind of hop hold you being just bizarre and off book and wacky with them so it's it's that's like a really fun thing because normally when you're playing a character I guess in a lot of things you're kind of restrained by a lot yeah whereas with his writing and this character I feel like there's a beautiful framework of what the scene is but then there's also the possibility you can do anything any moment so it's quite a liberating thing in some ways where you're like any the maddest thought you could possibly have you can do and it kind of just works <laughs> if you get scared, you're going to forget your lines. Oh, I forget my lines so much. <laughs> where it's like, you know, and the, the thing with forgetting lines, <laughs> particularly at the moment, shooting the great, because we have a lot of dialogue and the dialogue you have to be very specific with. Um, the thing with forgetting lines is it, happen, it happens so fast. <laughs> a lot of the time it's like, because you know it, it's in there at one point, And then it's like, boom, the second, there'll be a moment where you just go, that part of your brain, you can't access what it is. And that's that. That there's like a flash of fear that just goes like your brain goes like blackout, and then you're just there, and you're and everyone's looking, and you're kind of like, 
there's something I'm meant to be saying, but I can't remember what it is. What are your creative drivers? Ooh. I mean, it's storytelling overall. I think it's, 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 a, it's being collaborative with people, that's for sure. Like, and, and it's learning. You know, the great thing about this job is that you get to, you get to travel, you get to meet people and you get to learn things. And so whether it's like a new skill, whether like, oh, for this film, you've got to learn how to <laughs> shoot bows and arrows. You're like, all right, great. I'm, I've never done that. I'll learn yeah. that. How do you deal with nerves? Nerves is an, in, how do I deal with them? It's an interesting thing because it's kind of, it's kind of a little thing of practice as makes it better. A friend sent me this article that was like a, an interview with George Clooney about his mindset. Have you ever read this? No. About his mindset of how, when, when and how he managed to change, flip, I guess, the perspective on auditioning and, and that side of things. Because that's when, I mean, in terms of nerves, that's the main thing for an actor, I suppose. And, and it was kind of, I guess, switching the, the perspective as opposed to being like, oh, I, I need to go in there and prove that I can do this or that they want to pick me more going into it and having the, the mindset that they want you to do well in the room. They're, they're looking for someone who can do this and you're the person that could do it. So it's kind of this kind of, just a different outlook on it whereby it gives you more confidence as opposed to, more confidence to succeed as opposed to nerves of failure, I suppose. Yeah. It's getting deep. It is getting though, deep. it is. Do you feel optimistic that creative especially those that have had a you know a really difficult lockdown are gonna have their voice again after all this time uh yeah I, yeah yeah i'm very optimistic about that. i i believe it i mean i think firstly because i think a lot of people through lockdown would have been inspired so much by arts whether it's a book or film or something that they've seen because that's what we're all doing for the last you know year we're basically reading books watching tv shows streaming things and um listening to music at home and and that was what got us through it and gave us a bit of an escape. Through lockdown, everyone has realised how much those things meant to them in many ways. I certainly have, like theatres being closed, not being able to see plays, not being able to go see bands I like or musicians I like. This is something that is really exciting because I think in terms of technology, like whether it's like cars like this developing or cameras and, and sound equipment and all this, essentially now, if you've got an idea for a film or a TV show or whatever, mm. you can get the gear, you can rent it. It's, it's not as expensive as it used to be. You don't need a whole crew. You can go make a film and tell the story. And I think that's been, in the arts and everything is much more inclusive in terms of who can tell stories. And you're hearing more voices of people who have got interest in stories and skills and talents to, to share. Mm. I think everyone having things that they really loved taken away for a little bit or not being able to access them or even yeah, people yeah, yeah. Were taken away I think that's just made everyone go oh I, re I really love that or you know when you know when it's that thing of like oh I'll try that in in a few years or I want to do that at some point suddenly I think that's taken away everyone's like oh there's time is the time's kind of now you know yeah. okay mate Dude. I'm gonna jump thanks for coming for the ride good to see you Enjoyed thank that. you mate Me too. thanks buddy hey thank you take buddy. it easy catch you a little bit bye